Queer is an umbrella term used by many to describe an individual on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. We have been learning about this among other things regarding the queer community within our Citizen 410 course. My name is Franny Marshburn and I am interviewing Dr. Erin Wagner. And can you please tell us what you teach here at Longwood? Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Erin Wagner. I'm in the communication studies, so I'm in the digital media concentration specifically. Very cool. Um, so, has Longwood been a positive or negative work experience for you being a part of the queer community? Mostly positive, to be honest with you. It's, um, I've had negative experiences at other colleges, and it's, uh, comparatively, it's, it's, it's been pleasant. Well, very. Yeah. Um, how has Longwood made your experience positive or negative? Um, compared to the other schools? <laughs> well, compared to the other schools, uh, I had a lot of cease and desist for trying to incorporate diversity in my classroom, uh, which is a huge component of my pedagogical approach yes. to classrooms is diversity, inclusion, equity, belonging, and so that is inclusive of using more inclusive and diverse yes. Material. materials. Um, and so I got cease and desist letters and stuff from like even academic deans and stuff yeah. at other colleges. Um, and so those were not pleasant experiences. The here, I feel like there's a lot more voice, kind of uh, ability to, for example, I can teach a class that I've always dreamed of teaching, which is yeah. all, the LGBTQ plus in the media. Yeah. Um, it's become a really popular class. It's one of my favorite classes I've ever got because it's, you know, my, my baby. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's my little kid <laughs> growing up and stuff. Um, and so even just the ability to create a class like that uh, would have been not possible at other colleges that I've taught at. Very cool. Um, did Longwood know you were a part of the queer community when you were hired? Uh, when I was hired, uh, technically I was a lecturer um, for a year and then came on as an assistant professor. So when I was hired, hired initially, it's not something that you really disclose. Yeah. You can pick up on things. Yeah. And, but no, it wasn't part of the hiring process. Did their um, demeanor towards you change at all when they found out? Um, not here, uh, as far as I'm aware. Okay, yeah. well that's good. Yeah. And do you have any suggestions for Longwood that will help them be more inclusive towards faculty and staff? I have notes. <laughs> I have notes. They're not negative notes. It's just more of like the trying to get more in line with like the diversity kind of mission that the, set, that the school has with regards to their queer students. Um, things like offering safe space training or safe zone training for faculty uh, and staff so that they're more aware or more prepared for the queer stories when they don't have like cisgender or hetero um, faculty don't really, they want to be allies, good allies. This is a way they can do that to actually have the information and know how to talk to somebody um, of the queer community when they come in with particular things related to that. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I would love to see, and I doubt this will happen anytime soon, would be we have pride groups and we have uh, our queer sorority on campus. I would love to see us somehow create a queer space, mm -hmm. um, almost like a, like at another college I taught at, they had an entire, what was it called? <laughs> what was it called? It was a whole like space where que queer students could come, they had resources there. They held programming there. Um, kind of like their own like separate building. It's almost like they're, it's not even just a separate building, it's just their own space. Yeah. Because the building, it's like the, the space at the, the college that I was at before that had that, was a space within like a larger building. Yeah. But it's... Um, just their own like room, their own safe yeah. space, basically. Just their comfort own safe zone. space, comfort zone, places where they have libraries uh, of queer books specifically, uh, resources they have. Uh, programming very specifically designed to that. We do have that some with the women, gender, sexuality, etc. Minor, yeah. uh, but to have a specific space on campus just for that as a resource would be um, ideal, to yeah. be honest with you. Well, very good. That's all uh -huh. my questions for you, so thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah.